All right, so if you're getting ready to do a full bathroom renovation and you've got an older home, ours was built in 1956, odds are you're going to run into a cast iron tub, and that means you're going to have to cut up the tub and remove it. It's not an easy task, but it's not impossible either. The first thing you're going to want to do is remove all the tile around the tub, remove the tile cement backer board also, and get down to the studs. Once you get down to the studs, um, you should be able to get access to the tub. Just let all the old tile fall into the tub like we did here. It's easier that way. You can just scoop it all out and dispose of it later. And then you've got access to the tub. And what you want to do is get yourself a reciprocating saw and at least half a dozen diamond studded blades. Those are the blades designed to cut through cast iron. And they work pretty well, but you're going to need a bunch of them. We went through seven or eight blades and I'm talking about seven or eight of the diamond blades um, to get this thing out. We cut all the way down to the floor at the back section of the tub first. And uh, that took <laughs> probably a solid two hours of cutting. Like I said, it's doable. It's, it's just not easy, but it's doable. So, you know, get those diamond studded blades, start cutting, and then get that back section off first. When you get the back section of the tub off first you can remove that section more easily and then flip the tub up on its side. Here's a close-in shot of the back section. That part was removed. We were able to cut through the curve on the back of the tub without having to worry about hitting the floor. And once we did that, then we were able to cut the rest of the tub in half, as you see here. And so we're talking about two solid straight-through cuts in this particular tub and the reason we did this was to break up the tub in pieces that were removable we used a we used a two-wheeler to get those tub pieces out they're extremely heavy but with a two-wheeler one person can get those pieces out and then when you get down to the bare in our case slab floor and you see the cavity there for the plumbing that's going to go underneath the new tub once it goes in and we cleaned up the studs and removed as much crud as we could and now we've got here the new tub in place it's a fiberglass tub and that's likely what you're going to end up installing in your new bathroom reno renovation and it's going to be a lot lighter and a lot easier to, to manage so once you get the old tub out and the new tub in it's it's off to the races hope this video helped you if you liked it subscribe